ambition. But you know, brothers and sisters, God always has the right time to all this, to all, to, to everything. And one day you may share to your brothers and sisters outside. And Good evening, brothers and sisters. So let us give cup of to our Lord Jesus Christ as we welcome the Holy Spirit. So, uh, salamat tayo kasi muli tayo idinako sa pag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon. Two and uh, three, uh, God will be in the midst of us to to show us, to guide us uh, the Word of God that uh, He wants us to know and to learn and let us uh, welcome the Holy Spirit. Let us stand, uh, <coughs> sing for the Lord. Uh, first, we will sing, Come Holy Spirit. And the next song will be... I love to worship. Art of Worship. Uh, opening prayer by Samuel. Let us stand and sing to the Lord.
kapatid na patuloy na alam mo yung patuloy na nagdadasal na Lord itouch mo ang mga puso ng kapatid na muli mo sila kunda ko encourage mo sila na this is not for us na mga nagaano sa inyo nagaguide it's for your uh, it's for your own good sake para sa spiritual niyo grow kasi uh, even though na ayaw niyo pumunta it's still uh, it's your loss it's uh, kayo yung mawawalan it's it's not us because may mga kanya-kanya na kami gawain but uh, yung privilege na binibigay niyo sa Panginoon is something na sa amin is nabibless kami sa buhay niyo and nabibless din sa mga Panginoon so sa buhay niyo sa buhay niyo nagpapasalamat na kasi nung ano kasi nung dati parang yung nasasabi ko talaga na ano ba yung kabuluhan ko dito sa mundo kasi dati kasi parang nasasabi ko ngayon na yung dating ako ay wala na talaga tapos yung dati kong buhay eh syempre lagi akong naglalaya sa akin eh kasi nga gusto ko ng yung peace of mind na ano na nabuhay so kunting ano lang sa akin kunting kumbaga parang sensitive ako pag sinasabihan ako ng ano kasi nga parang sa akin walang nakakaintindi sa sarili ko eh nasabi ko dati na mas mabuti pang mag isa tapos kasi yun yung ano ko eh na gusto ko lang mapag isa kasi ayaw kong kasi sa family namin maraming struggles yung ano namin family namin is, yung mama ko dati nang nag-upload is parang hindi ko naman biniblame siya kasi yung desire niya kasi is mabigyan kami ng ng future, ah, di ba? ng magandang future, tapos yung ano niya ngayon is parang makagi, parang yung desire niya is iba sa akin, yung makagain lang siya ng pera tapos naiintindihan ko yun as a mother, pero yung sa akin naman, di ba kasi gusto ko lang na kahit mahirap ako, contento na ako sa mahirap eh. Basta nun yung, ah, yung, yung, yung presensya ng Panginoon. Kasi sa akin, kung, kung merong mga nagay sa akin sa buhay ko dati na ganito about, about kay Jesus, kung nakilala ko siya nung dati, masasabi ko sa sarili ko na talagang nakapagtapos ako ng pag-aaral kasi nagkaroon ako ng takot eh kung dati yung nangyari sa akin so ngayon, in-explain ko sa mama ko na na hindi naman about religion yung inaano ko kasi nag-share ako sa kanila eh hindi about religion yung inaano ko pero yan yung totoo eh, dapat mamulat tayo sa totoo kasi nandun talaga yung ano eh bakit yung iba, nabuhay sa Pinas diba? nabuhay sa Pinas na wala naman silang tricycle, ano lang, driver lang ng ano pero okay naman yung pamumuhay nila, hindi tulad sa amin na simula nung pumunta yung mama ko sa ano sa ato, yung nagkawatak-watak na kami lahat, tapos yun nga yung gusto ko, yung mabalik yung dating family namin, kasi last ano kasi, parang bata pa ako, parang kinder pa ako, itong, yung buhay pa yung ano ko, yung tatay ko dun ko na, na feel na may family talaga ako hanggang sa Basta marami akong yung mga darkness na ano is na ano nagdadagdag ako dati ng ano ng drugs. Hindi lang doon sa Pinas, pati dito sa Dubai. Tapos syempre pag ganun ano hindi mo rin mamahayan na kahit sabihin mo pang kinabukasan humingi ka ng tawad. Babalik babalik ka pa rin. Hanggang sa nakilala ko dito yung kasama ko sa trabaho. Tapos yun nga, pumunta lang ako ng prayer meeting tapos tapos yung kasunod na doon hindi ko alam eh bakit pupunta ako doon sa mga Bible study pero, pero may sinasa, parang may sinasabi sa akin na huwag mong hindihan kasi yun na yun eh at saka itutuloy ko kaya yung iba nagulat sa akin na ang bilis ng process ng ano ko kasi dito ko natagpuan yung peace of mind talaga eh kaya binabalik ko lang at lakas na yun at saka humingi na ako ng ano very present sa family ko at saka sa auntie ko din kasi may cancer yung auntie ko eh yan lang ba ako 
ano, kung paano tayo mag mag-re-respond. Mag-re-respond si Lord sa sa sinasabing calling sa iyo. Once you hear the word of God, it's up to you to to react on it, try to to give action on it. So, uh, you are blessed, uh, Brother Diyos, kasi ikaw, yung natagpuan ka ng Panginoon, yung, yung eagerness mo talaga sa Kanya is nandun na. Kaya, yun siguro, nak nak nakita na ng mga kasamahan mo agad yung changes sa iyo, at ikaw din, uh, ano ka, na, na bless ka, yung uh, that testimony sa buhay mo is a proof na hindi ano tumitingin ang Panginoon sa mga kasalanan mo once itanggap mo siya kasi uh, you will be the light and the soul for your family but just continue uh, uh, knowing the Lord kasi through that process mas talo mo pa mapapalalim ang sarili mo kung paano mo ma-introduce yung si Lord sa family mo about kay mama mo it's always there's Oh, uh, she will be always your mother and you should show respect to her. Yung, yung question na kung naiwan kayo, God will fix your family. That is process na nangyayari sa'yo and it will come through your family also yung process na yun. Kasi there is a teaching when you ask, you seek and knock to the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. When you seek, you will be uh, when when you ask, you will be given. And if you seek for Him, you will find. And if you knock the door, the door will open open to you. So, that that word na napaka, ano, halaga sa, sa book of Matthew na, ask, seek, and you will find the way to fix what is your heart desire. It will be given to you, not, uh, it, it will be unprocessed, but uh, look forward at it kasi marami nang nangyari sa buhay mo. And regarding your tita, na may, may sakit siya, God is our great healer, na uh, have faith, na whatever God's plan, it, it's for the better of each one, everyone. Parang ganun lang yun. And as much as possible, be a way na mama pareceive mo yung tita mo. Ma-encourage mo siya na to, get, to receive and to submit to our Lord Jesus Christ kung ano man nararamdaman. Because He is a great healer. Kay Apple naman, yung nangyayari sa kapatid mo it's a, sp a spirit of fear nangyayari sa family mo kaya tapos may spirit din ng ano, self-infliction na bakit nararamdaman yung anger, spirit of anger sa kapatid mo even though sabi nga nila nag naglalakad ka na sa Panginoon you are not uh, excused to experience those bad spirit na sinasabi natin na kalaban because in this uh, in this uh, panahon natin ngayon we are fighting through spirit na makalaban natin mga bad spirit na yan kaya hindi natin alam but through the word of God magagamit natin yon. and thankful ka Apple kasi even though na na, na ano yung kapatid mo na mga, mga spiritual ano kalaban natin is is by the word of God na nagagamit mo sa kanila na overcome yon na, na open yung heart niya to listen to you and makikita mo rin naman yun sa mga kapatid mo na their, their care na sabi nga totoo yun na she's still a girl even though nagpupunta nga siya sa Bible study maybe some misinformation na nangyari kaya na, natitrigger yung mga ganong concern but Bilang, ano nga, bilang anak na ng Panginoon, tell it to your sister na huwag siyang maging cause ng katitisura ng kapatid mo. Kasi yung pag hindi niya pag-uwi ng maaga, of course, mag magkakosyo ng galit sa family mo. Then much better mag-adjust kung ano ang mas maaga-aga na Bible study para lang huwag mag-cause ng, ng ang, ano, yung fear or ano man, kung ano mang kaisipan sa mga kapatid mo or sa parents mo. So, to avoid things, kung siya na yung nakakakilala sa Panginoon, much better na mas, ano siya, mas maging open-minded siya sa mga, sa parents mo, sa kapatid mo na hindi pa nakakakilala sa Panginoon. Ganon yung treatment always pagdating sa mga sa sitwasyon. Never solve, uh, kasi nga po ganun na iisip niya na, na to to hurt herself. So, it's it's not in the 
align in the word of God. It's not in the teaching of the Lord kung parati siyang pumupunta doon. So, there is some bad spirit uh, trying to trigger her and just continue praying na matanggal yung spirit na yun. and if you can rebuke, rebuke it in the, uh, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, ayun, napaka-bless na natin kasi na the life testimony sa buhay natin ma-fulfill yan to the word of God for tonight to be given by our Father Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hindi natin ang palakpak ng ating Panginoon sa mga ako sa mga ikling panalangin at uh, magiging natin ang mga mataan. Lumukot mo tayo. Panagal ng Heaven in the name of Lord Jesus Christ when the fellowship of the Holy Spirit lupas kami ng pagpasalamat sa inyo Panginoon sa pagbibigay ng courage sa pagbibigay ng lakas at biyaya na ang pinagtamasa sa bawat araw buhay na nga dito sa mundong ito Lord, ang salita na ito na ay bahagi Panginoon kayo po muli na namunguna at magsalita sa buwan puso at isipan ng bawat isa Be magnified and sanctified for us You are the one who really treat, teach us to each other Lord. Use me as an empty vessel to your words that the words become alive to each other Lord. This all I pray in the name of Lord Jesus Christ with the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm hoping that the other things you brought earlier as well, I think it's very it's fine. Now, let's tackle mga kapatid about the three components about our body as a human being which is a body, soul, and spirit. Uh, this is just on a small recap. For about the body, we are body is a flesh. So, of course, we have a five senses, which is sense of touch, sense of taste, sight, hearing, and smell. But most of them are in the body, in the part of our body. And the second is the soul, which is the soul, the really one who are giving thinking, who deciding, and the one who have emotion. We're saying, mga kapatid, that in our hearts, there's a love that you fall in love. But the thing is, it's not just not it's not just about your flesh. Hindi yun dahil sa katawan natin o sa katawang meron tayo sa ating mga party, no? But the thing is, the, the real feeling is comes to the soul, which is yun ang nagkakaloob sa kanya ng mind of thinking in deciding the free will. At yung pangatlo is uh, yung emotion natin, medicinal feelings. At yun talaga nagagaling ang lahat sa soul natin. Actually, when the time na mababalik sa ating Panginoon, no? that soul is the one will be accountable for whatever you did in this world. So, yan yung didirekta sa ating Panginoon na sa langit at puhukuman. It's written in, in, in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. But before that one, because this is not our topic. And the third one is the Spirit. Which, which the Spirits come from the God. As you remember in Genesis, mga kapatid, no? when Adam gave life, and then of course the Spirit of God through the nostril of Adam, that's why he have a life. So, doon na buhay ang human being dahil sa spirito ng pinagkalob ng Panginoon. Most of the science, they thinking, of, 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 of course, all of us, we're thinking that we are living in this world because yung dugo na dumadaloy sa ating mga bala, sa ating mga ugat, ay nagbibigay ng buhay. At ang, ang dugo na yan na dumadaloy sa ating puso, kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng hininga. But the things, brothers and sisters, without the spirit, even your body is completely functioning we are all dead. And in this spiritual matter, as just uh, Ate Jonah has shared, that the real battle in this world, in this earth, is not against our flesh and blood. Because everything is just only temporary, but in your soul. So in spirit, we are always battling about the, the spirit with which comes the evil spirit na nakapalikot sa atin. And God bless rather than sit here. So, how was it, bro? So, with, uh, we, we thought that this three component of our room as a human being is we have a soul, spirit, and body. So, at, at this part, because we have to maximize and make uh, some adjustment about the timing, I'm gonna talk and teach about the body. 
which is for the two kinds of the most essential part of our body is our, our eyes and mind. Let's open in Psalm chapter 101, verse 6. Whoever you can see, this really uh, one hundred one. Yes, chapter 6. This is our main Bible verse. Amen. Praise the Lord. My eyes will be on the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. The one who walk in blameless will minister to me. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, it's saying here, mga kapatid, there's a two, there's a one part in this, uh, our body mentioned in this verse, which is the eyes. And God looking for each everyone in here, not only for what you have, what you are doing, you taking a bath, not the things that you're cooking, but not this only things, but the will of the Father, faithfully you doing about the will of the Father, who giving the commandments through our God the Father, and the faithful one, of course God will seize each and every one. We have to walk. We have to do something in actions, not just only by, you know, in every time that we reading and we hearing about the word of God, it's not just only about in ourselves, but you know, we have to practice it. We have to do this once and put it in action so that become a salt in the light. And um, in another time, we have to become an example to others, to the other people. Because the God of Father and Lord Jesus Christ teaching us through the Holy Spirit, we have to minister. We have to come to ministry, do the work, whatever God's will entrusted to you. For the part of the eyes, brothers and sisters, we have always looking in a positive way most of the time we still in this world you know, we can see there's a lot of um, bad things happening so much trouble, so much problem and difficulties but if you always longing and seeking about the word of God and you heard everything God's command and then this is the one proof that God can show you how you faithfully doing it by your own selves towards the other and God sees that one. And every time no and every time you can see your brother, your sisters, even in the deep, deepest part of their heart and their mind that sometimes they are doing also mistakes. But you know, as you know, the word of God already through our hearts, we have to look the positive way. As God the Father teach us in sacred commandments that we have the we have to love our neighbors at, 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 as you love yourself, and of course we're not we are not accountable. Uh, we are not the one will be going to judge to each and every one. Even yourself, we are doing mistakes. We are not perfect in this world. It's written in Romans chapter three verse ten. But you know, brothers and sisters, the only way that we can minister to other people to give reconciliation to our God the Father, uh, to our to recon to reconciliation through. Lord Jesus Christ, with the one who will save us, giving us the salvation with the love and grace and mercy through Lord Jesus Christ with His precious blood, and then they will give also the life uh, forgiving and uh, um, starting repenting what they have done in this world. And uh, in the ministry of the uh, of God the Father, we are all not worthy, but because of the love of God of Lord Jesus Christ, we are we have. We must to do something. We have to become blameless, to become a righteous and holy. Because our God, the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, is a holy. We, we we cannot hide anything to our God, the Father, because He is the one who is looking each and every one hearts. Even you're hiding to your brothers, but in our God, through our God, we cannot hide anything. And for the further explanation about this Bible verse, let's open in First Thessalonians chapter four, verse seven. Amen. So, 
as what I can I, I share to you, bro, brothers and sisters. We are all unworthy and we are all sinners. But of course, through Lord Jesus Christ, because of these things that we have done, we have the heart of the having a teachable heart, a heart that uh, always long, going back where we are, where we're the, we're the one who God given us an opportunity. Of course, and everything, there's a second, there's a second chances, and that second chances is knowing about the the will of God the Father, and through Holy, to, through Lord Jesus Christ, we are all saved, and and these things, you know, we have to set to our mind and eyes uh, it, to, to our eyes that we 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 don't have anything to to make a path but to make a path with our own desire but not through the word of god let us focus our eyes through lord jesus christ because you know in everything struggle or pacing uh going it comes to ourselves our career our work or anything man uh, manners of course through financial aspect we don't have anything to worry about these things you know brothers and sisters because you know in in god said that he will be he's the one who will be providing for everything and we don't have to be worried because god the father he's the one who will be sustaining to each and everyone it's written in psalm chapter 55 verse 22 but um for everything that i shared you know uh, hopefully the, you will be remembered every verses and this is the one that I shared to you that the your eyes will be only fo focused about Lord Jesus Christ, which is you have to read in the Bible, we have to looking in a good manner about encouragement through the to through all the servant of the Lord, especially to all to the disciple. And how we how we how how do we know about these words of God if we are not reading? In our eyes, that's why we have our eyes. That's why God of Father has instructed every word of God so that we will know through hearing, through hearing in, in ourselves, we are also applying in by reading. So we have to make, we have to use our, our eyes, not in always, um, you know, uh, brothers and sisters watching this kind of uh, movie. But there's a time for everything. But you know, in everything that we are doing in this world, we have giving, glorifying our God Father. And how are we going to do that one? For one part that we are seeing in, in just only one part of our, our body, we are all doing a, mis a, a sin. For just only looking for a uh, for no, just looking to the uh, bad, uh, violence, uh, television, movie, we are implanted to our heart and mind. But sometimes, if we don't have any reward of God, of course, maybe you're thinking it's just a really, it's a okay, it's a go, it's all right. But you know, in the in the you uh, are in the God's thing, uh, in, in in the God's desires and will, He is all are unpleasant to our God the Father. So, God always uh, teach us, Lord Jesus Christ always teach us about. We are living. We are living until we are in, the, in, the, in these words. We are. We have to live according to the will of God the Father. It's written in Rome, uh, First Corinthians chapter ten, verse seven, fourteen. But uh, you know, these all things are really whatever I shared, brothers. This is in the line of the in the Bible. And let's open uh, Romans in First John chapter two, verse fifteen. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. Amen. So, what God uh, tell us in this in this in this world uh, in our body we have so much uh, we have so much worried about anything else in comes to our in comes of the shelter in comes in comes of the uh, food and you know our our daily needs 
but you know god's telling that we don't have to we have to, we don't have to be worried about all these things and the love of god is always there and of course everything in this world is a blessing already from god he already given but if your hearts if your hearts and mind and eyes focus to all these things and then this what this can be a, this can be a human being can be fall into any temptation and then the rest of the sin but there's so many there's so many instances and uh, incident to our life even if we're not tackle of everything these things we, we know that so many story so so many ways that we can doing in a not really a uh, not a right way everything in this world is just only a test brothers and sisters but if you overcome all of these things and the one that you always look longing is the love of God our Father and which is the standard of God our Father is we have to obey his command because God our Father is uh, saying if you love me then you have to obey my command in teaching this is the standard and the, the one that you can prove to our God our Father if you really love me and then you, you have to obey the command, command that I am teaching to you through the Bible, through sharing and each and everyone through the life of our brothers and sisters, because this 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 Bible verse, this uh, word of God, can give the life that we have to uh, the pattern of the life that we have to uh, to to walk. To everything in this in everything in written in here, is an encouragement to become a holy and to become a righteous and please pleasing. To our God our Father, if we're gonna do that one, brothers and sisters, if we're gonna focus our eyes and mind to our God our Father through Lord Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, and then one day we will inherit the eternal life which is in the kingdom of God our Father. We take heart. We have so many struggle in this world. We have so many problems we're gonna facing until we're still in this world. But for just only one part of your body, if you you don't have any word of God and then that's why most of the Christian will be full. This is things that we that sometimes we are just only neglecting because we are still in our body but just like what Lord Jesus is saying, no, we are already dead, uh, died for ourselves we have to deny <coughs> ourselves for everything that we are desire but the desires always comes to our God our Father by the teaching of Lord Jesus Christ and this is the way that we are supposed to be living and to all the people that still don't know about the word of God we are the one will be become the example and everything that we can share is just only for the glory of God the Father and this is the great commission and ministry given to us instructed to each and everyone for the one part that I am sharing to you brothers and, brothers and sisters just for an eyes and mind but in the different meaning, so many teaching about these things, about this part of body, is very wide. I'm just only giving to you how we gonna, how what is the perspective in life that we can follow and we can do in the line of the word of God. Because you know, so many servants of the Lord, so so many mighty servants of the Lord, is already in the Bible, failing for just for these things. And of course, we are not perfect. We are just only a human being. But your heart, in your eyes, in your mind, always focus to the Word of God, because these things will just only a process. It keep only continue learning. And then, if your yourself is of being a part of the line of the Word of God, and then, of course, we are all for what will what will be happening in our spirit, what will be happening in our soul. Everything is just only temporary, but until we are in here, we are already submitting, surrendering, surrendering our life to Lord Jesus Christ. And then, even in we are still in this world, we are the already called by our God Father, my son and daughter, my faithful one. So we are the citizens. We are not citizenship. And our citizenship is not already in, already in the world, but. To the kingdom of God the Father which is in heaven so 
how how do you feel about this thing about these things, brothers? It's really it's really a privilege and something that we cannot we cannot see to anyone in this in the world in the world in your company in the curry for most of the time. No, that they always mentioning about curry for grocery, <laughs> plaza or movie theater. But you know, all of these things is just only for your satisfaction. But honestly. There's no really satisfaction in terms to our own desire. Only giving satisfaction and contentment is just only by the by the words of God. And the Holy Spirit will be giving you this fruit that will be fulfilling um, glory to glory. Sometimes no uh, learning about the word of God is in the process. It will be may take a year or it will be take for uh, how many years but you know the good thing is the mercy and grace of Lord Jesus Christ is already there we have to work it out and we have to be serious because this is really a serious matter uh, so many people cannot see about these things in spiritual real because because they don't know no one shared they, did, they didn't even read about the Bible and they didn't be even care about all these things happening because they're just only thinking about their own self-desire ambition but you know brothers and sisters God always had right time to all this to, all, to, to everything and one day you may share to your brothers and sisters outside and you may implant the word of God to them but we don't know Holy Spirit will be the one who will be word to each and every one. The Holy Spirit will be the one who be, can be changed the people's heart. We are here to doing the great commission of God the Father to the whole, to, through the Holy Spirit. And this commission is giving a reconciliation, going back to Lord Jesus Christ to become a witness. What is a witness? To be the gospel. To share the word of God, to share Lord Jesus Christ, to share your life, to become an example to each and everyone. This is the way that we are living in these worlds, not in the, not, not living in accordance to the word, worldly matter or pattern. So this is all, brothers and sisters. Hopefully, I can share it for the next step, for the next Bible study that I'm the one who started. I will share also the second, the soul, the one, the one most important. But as of now, I'm gonna share to you. In the, in the body, that's what the main part is our eyes and mind. So, mm -hmm. God, you will glory. And um, maybe some attitude we can be shared, but before anything else, let me close the, let me close the exhortation by giving the Holy Spirit. Our Father, God in heaven, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, with the help of the Holy Spirit, thank you, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa revelation sa encouragement, sa pagbibig ay buhay sa inyong salita sa bawat puso at isipan ng bawat isa. Ito'y maging kalakasan namin sa pangaraw-araw na aming ga gagawin Panginoon. Hindi lang po ito manapili sa aming puso at isipan kundi ibahagi din namin ang Panginoon sa aming mga kapa at sa lahat ng mga kinig at mga ka mga kaalam ng salita inyong Panginoon. Kayo na po ang kumilo sa Holy Spirit. Tanging dalangin ko, Panginoon, ang kaligtasan, kasaganahan, at kasayahan sa piling niyo, Panginoon, sa pangalan ng iyong anak na si Yesu Cristo, with the love, with the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ganda lang na no. Di ba napag-usapan natin, may napag-usapan tayo, last, last week ba yan about yung purpose ng body natin, di ba? At God is teaching us the body was given to us, it was designed para para sa kanya pa rin yan, is to praise him gagamitin yun, our body should be used for the glory of the Lord so, praise the Lord now, why na discuss is the eyes napakaano sa Bible, bakit particular siya, we, we, there's a saying that your eyes is the window through your soul so, it means uh, kung ano man ang na-absorb ng mata mo, then absorb by your mind, so it may outcome yun parati. 
So, that is teaching us why we have to focus with the Lord. Napakaganda nga. It's very logical why the importance of the eye. Kasi, yun, for example, God is teaching us na pagkagising mo pa lang, pagkadilat mo, if you have that character already to open the Bible in the morning, so you have the Word of God. Yun ang mauna. That is the first thing that you will see. So your mind is set up already that what's God plans for you to do today. So, it's a uh, it's a reminder to us how uh, the importance, the influence of what we see in our mind to function each day. For example, just imagine each day how important your eyes. Kung ano ang, what eyes you uh, what your eyes first thing in the morning that you open. Kung ano makikita niya. So if it's uh if you open that and it's it looks up how uh, the creation of the Lord it how the Bible said to you that you have to read first when you open your eyes then you reflect then you will have the good uh, wisdom when you go outside you will appreciate more the creation you know what's the now these days you will notice what is happening in this world by every day what they are they when they wake up, they will go direct to the TV, open all the problems in the TV. They will see. So, the mind will absorb the problem, the issue, and unnoticeably, hindi mo napapansin, it will come out. And it will reflect in your everyday life. So, drama, again, mga drama, you know, mga first thing na nakikita natin sa morning. So, it's very good that the Bible is teaching us how to use the function of our bodies. So if if it's God telling us that use your full body for the glory of the Lord, so each one is functional for the glory of the Lord. So it's very nice the the the, the word of the Lord. So we will have the habit na maging mauna pa lang tingnan natin ang word of God when we wake up in the morning. Make it a habit. So you know what? The, the, that is the first thing that your mind will absorb for the day. Then your day will be good. It's the Lord, right? So, napakaganda. It's a good message for our Lord Jesus Christ to remind us how will be our day will be fruitful and be blessed for each one of us. So, let us stand to close our Bible study. Close in prayer by Brother Dennis. Father Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our lives. We thank you for the sisters and brothers we have here. We thank you for the message you've given us. You've taught us a lot. You've yes. taught us to use our bodies as a living sacrifice to yes. you, Father. Yes. Lord, Father. Yes. But Father, we call upon your presence as you go out into the world. Lord Father, as we go out to sleep, let us meditate on the one that we have learned. Let yes. us meditate yes. on us, Father. Throughout yes. the world, yes. Father. We pray for our sisters and brothers that are not here. Lord Father, touch them with yes. your presence, yes. Lord, Lord Father. Teach them your word. Teach them to use their bodies as a living sacrifice yes. for you, Lord Father. Yes. Lord Father, as we are going home, some of us have problems and issues here and there. Yes. We call upon your presence to touch us, to help us in everything. Yes. Touch our families, touch those who are sick, touch those who have lost their loved ones, yes. touch all those who are looking for jobs, let them be able to get jobs, Father. Lord Jesus, we call upon your presence. Yes, Lord. And we ask you through this, through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Picture, picture. Picture. Picture now. Apple. Let's go to picture. Apple.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good evening. God bless you. Good night. Good night.